Question 4. Consider the circuit with two identical NMOS transistors. Both of them have V threshold 1 volt and KN 5 milliamps per volt square. Find the volts V1 and V2. Well, in this circuit, it's evident that there is something that three elements share. The current, ID, is the same in both transistors and in this one kilo ohm resistor. Let's write equations for the three of them, beginning with the resistor, this current in the resistor ID, which is unknown, is V2 minus minus 5 divided by 1 kilo ohm. But that current, according to Q, Q2 in this transistor, is going to be 1 half of K. K is 5 milliamps per volt square. 5 milli. Then multiplies the voltage VGS, the voltage from the gate G, this is G, to the source S. What is that the voltage VGS? Hmm. That uh, voltage is just zero, the voltage of G, minus the voltage of S, which is V2, that is zero minus V2, that is VGS, minus the threshold of voltage, VT, one volt. And that goes squared. That is the equation for the current in the drain of transistor 2. Now the current in transistor 1, ID, is the same and is computed as 1 half Kn, the same value, 5 milli, that multiplies again the voltage between the gate and the source in this transistor. Well, the gate is at 5 volts, let me highlight that, plus 5 volts, and the source of voltage, unknown as it is, is V1. So VGS is 5 minus V1, 5 minus V1 VGS, minus VT, which is 1, same square. We have three equations and three unknowns. Those are V1, V2, and the current. If we observe that the first two equations have only two unknowns, V2 and ID, we can equate this to that and be left with only one quadratic equation in V2. Let's do that. Let's say V2 plus 5 divided by 1 kilo is equal to, to this, this is 1 half, 5 milli, that multiplies this expression minus V2 minus 1 square. This is a quadratic equation. We will have two possible values for V2. As you notice, I've called x is V2 because it's easier to type. And then I ask a symbolic solver to solve for x. And we have two possible values, 0.48 volts and negative 2.1 volts. Which one of the two? If we choose this one, 0.48 volts for V2, it then means that VGS, this voltage, will this one, sorry, will be negative. Negative, that is below VT, and the transistor would be in cutoff. And we know that that is not the case, so this cannot be the voltage. The voltage V2 is negative 208 volts. And that is the first solution we get. V2 is negative 2081 volts. With that voltage and this equation, we can find what is the current all through the circuit. Minus 2081 plus 5 divided 1 kilo. And that current then we can equate to this expression and solve for V1. That is 2919 milliamps, the current there. That is this current 
and then we have a quadratic equation in V1 and we solve it the same way. This is the equation we need to solve for V1 and that is exactly what we are about to do. The two possible solutions are 508 and 292 volts. Which one of them? Which one of those two is the right value for V1? Let's see. VGS 5 minus V1 would be negative if we chose 508. 5 minus 508 would be a negative value. That would be below 1 volt and the transistor would be cut off. Which we know is not happening because the current is not zero. The current is almost 3 milliamps. And that leaves only one possibility. The voltage V1 is 2.92. And we write that V1 is 2.92 volts. And that is the solution to this exercise. Now we have arrived at the last question of this tutorial. Consider the two identical transistors and MOS, both of them, with the same threshold of voltage, 1 volt, and the same Kn, 5 milliamps per volt square. They are identical. They are connected as diode connected transistors find the voltages in this one, this is V3, V4, and V5. What are they? Well, one thing that this circuit shares is a drain current. You see there are 0 amps here and 0 amps. These are gate currents in the MOSFET, 0 amps. So the current is the same through both resistors and both transistors. Let's write the corresponding equations. Um, you say, well, some things are very interesting before I, I do anything else. The current is the same in this 1 kilo ohm resistor and in this 1 kilo ohm resistor. That's right. So that means that this uh, voltage here, I'm going to call that A. I don't know what it is. It's the same uh, voltage here. Still A. Don't know what it is. And uh -huh. more, both transistors are diode connected transistors identical MOSFETs with the same current drain current that means that this voltage and this one have to be identical I do not know the value B but they are the same oh what have I found so far what I found is that the distance between plus 10 and V4 is A plus B and the distance from B to V4 is a plus B. That is, V4 lies exactly midway between plus 10 and 0 volts. The first solution is that V4 has to be 5 volts, and that is no minor finding. With that value known, 5 volts, I will concentrate in solving the lower part of the circuit, and that can be done independently. Let's see. 5 volts V5. This current in the resistor is um, written as V5 divided by 1000 ohms. But that current can be written in the transistor as 5 volts minus V5. Mm -hmm. That voltage, let's say, uh, uh, 5 minus V5. Remember this is a diode connected transistor, that's why I'm doing that. Minus Vt, which is 1 volt squared. 1 half multiplied by Kn, that is 5 milli. I equate those two values and have one equation in V5. Solving that quadratic equation in V5, we obtain that V5 has to be 2.92 volts. And then what? And then I substitute that here and obtain the value for the current, which is 2.92 milliamps. What else? We need the voltage here. Oh, V5 is higher than the reference node by 290. 2 volts. That's right. That is A, 292. That means that V3 is below 10 by 292 volts.
that means that V3 is 10 minus 2 92 volts that is A this value is A and that voltage is 708 volts and that completes this tutorial thank you very much